Hello, today we are going to discuss about basic network designing so how to design a basic network. So in this we will learn about the network designing the step to, uh, steps to involve the network designing and then the documentation next about the network components. So first of all we will discuss about the steps involved in designing a basic network like first of all the first step is known requirements and the need of the network. So first of all we will uh, we will know the why we need to install this network and the need of these networks then the next step in next step we have to know the type of devices required to meet this need so then the devices like uh, switches router workstations or how many workstations we require to design this network the next is we have to know the materials used to design the building like the reinforced walls or building a reinforced wall or a penetration wall. so where the uh, 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 signals can be penetrate in the building so the next we have to uh, next step we have to understand the type of cable required so for making the connectivity we must use cat 5v cable coaxial cable or the twisted pair cable so according to the requirement of the network we have to choose the best cable for the connectivity the next step we have to know about the wire and wireless connectivity we are in the network where we have to give the wired connectivity connectivity or where we have to use the wireless connectivity and the internet access in next step we have to deal with the computer data and the network security so here we will add the security to the computers and the network for the uh, security of a network the next is the documentation so here the documentation is done to support configuration and maintenance of the network so the documentation of the various part of the network can be done for the future use so the network parts which we cover in documentation are like network diagram including floor plan so this floor plan or building must be created before designing a network so these floor plans must be documented uh, before designing the network and for the future use also so the then we have to document the list of assets used by the company such as type of softwares and their updated versions and the switches and their ports and the workstations and their models the next we have to list up the ip address of every device in the network the, uh, the every device in the network are using the ip address so we must list this uh, ip address and we have to document this ip address for the future use or next is the network usage policies and the standards so the policies and the standards which we are created to design this network or to use this network must be documented for uh, including their securities the next we have to we are going to discuss about network components like workstations servers equipment rooms and the periphery so first of all we will discuss about workstations so or a workstation is a desktop computer terminal typically networked and more powerful than a personal computer so most of the company workers need workstations with modern operating systems such as window 10 or the window 8 and some employees need all version of operating system so according to the requirement we must have to install the workstations the next is the equipment room so the equipment room is a centralized core of the whole network and all devices from different departments are connected to this equipment room and it consists of a various racks and lot of patch cables so equipment room is the centralized part of the whole network next is the server so a server is a computer designed to process requests and deliver data to the other computer over a local network or the internet so the function of the server according to the requirement we must have to choose the best server to uh, for our network so the function of the servers are like network authentication and the management and accounting and the internet uh, server for the internet services and for web develop development and the product testing so according to our need we have to install the server in the network the next is the peripherals or the extra devices so the peripheral devices connect to a computer system to add functionality such as mouse keyboard monitor printer and scanner we have to also monitor the uh, monitor these need of these peripheral devices so this is all about uh, the designing a basic network thank you